Hi everyone, my name is Bonnie. I'm a second year studying biology and my hometown is San Diego. Currently at the International Center, I'm an English conversation program intern. When I think about it, I think I've been in IC or in the IC like circle for a while because the summer before I started college at UCI, I actually studied abroad with the US Department of State in South Korea. Um, and coming back from that experience, I was just so in awe of the connections uh, that I've made with people who have a completely different life than me or speak a completely different language. And I've always really loved learning different languages. And so I really wanted to get involved in something like that at UCI, even if it didn't pertain to my major necessarily. And so I actually remember touring a different college that's not UCI the year before and hearing that they had like a program called language tables where you get to eat lunch with native speakers and other people trying to learn a certain language. And so interested in that, I was hoping to find something like that at UCI and Google led me to the English conversation program. So I applied to that. I enrolled in that like after you sign up for all your classes and stuff. I took the ECP course as a facilitator the fall quarter of of my freshman year and I really loved it. It was just so nice to play like icebreakers with everyone and have conversations with people that I might not otherwise get to meet, you know, in my circle of friends. And so it was just such a lovely way to end my lectures for the day too, because I'm a morning person. So I like to have my classes in the morning and ECP is at like 4 p.m. On my way back from ECP one day, I had to cross the bridge that gets you from like the student center to Mesa Court to get to my dorms. I saw a flyer from IC where they were looking for an across the bridge program coordinator for the next year. So I took a picture of it and asked one of my sweet mates if she wanted to apply together. And I almost didn't apply because I felt like I didn't have the skills to lead a workshop of like 50 people or knowledge to talk about topics that others might find a little bit controversial. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I got involved with like Across the Bridge. But if you don't know what Across the Bridge is, by the way, it's a collaboration between the International Center, the Study Abroad Center, and the Cross-Cultural Center where students get to come together and discuss topics regarding diversity in the US, our identities, and so much more. And I got accepted to become a program coordinator. I really don't know how because it was the first interview that I had ever gone to in college. And it was my first time being in a group interview. And all the other candidates were like upperclassmen. And so I was so intimidated when it happened. I was a freshman, so it was just really scary. But myself and four other coordinators were selected. And we ended up leading two workshops at the International Center on global beauty standards and the other one on the ways how language can be the bridge to other perspectives or understanding different perspectives. And so through that experience, I feel like I learned so much about event planning and how to be a good facilitator, how to like do public speaking because I was always a shy person too. Um, and I remember that each one of the events that we've hosted, almost all of the IC student staff had came to help out and participate in the conversations. And they were just like the most kindest, most enthusiastic people I've ever met. I really enjoyed having that experience. But then quarantine happened and COVID around the spring, I think the IC interns applications opened up and I knew that I really wanted to become an ECP intern. I applied with like the idea that I, I really love the connections I made in the class and I felt like I could use the skills that I learned from being an across the bridge coordinator to better lead and facilitate different conversations. And I think like that helped me cultivate those connections later on with like ECP students as well. That was something that I really looked forward to and that's why I applied and kind of became involved. I'm hoping to become more involved in IC with like the other student staff too. One of the biggest things that I've learned from working at the International Center as an across the bridge coordinator, that was like my first leadership position in university. And then um, being an intern was my first official job. And so I think like with almost all jobs, you kind of learn like what your strengths are and like what your weaknesses are and how um, the things that you can improve on. I think the International Center specifically really helps you with that in a way that kind of guides you to improve and help you plan your goals and things like that. Sandy and Jane, they do a really good job at helping
helping you come up with short-term goals and also long-term goals. And so that's something that I really try to think about when I go into like other interviews for different jobs. And it's just like nice to know personally, like what your strengths are so that you can kind of enhance that and improve that in like other fields that you go into. I think one of like the best things about working at the International Center is that I get paid to do what I love to do, which is like helping people see the ways in which like they're more alike than they are different and also change people's perspective and kind of like their preconceived notions about each other that they might have like previously carried or like stereotypes and things like that. I didn't really expect in the beginning working at the International Center to see that everyone was so supportive. That's kind of like an understatement because like they're, they're way more supportive than they actually sound, I guess, when you, you explain it. But yeah, I think the friends that I've made and like the memories of like being in the class and then also leading the class and also the events that I've helped lead, that has really made my college experience much better, even if it was in remote learning. Another thing that I learned since joining IC, it's really specific to the remote learning process that we're in we had to accommodate and adjust the ecp class into the remote setting so something that i've learned is how to how to communicate with students and how to update them in a way where they feel like they can actively engage in class with the other students in our class. To most people, my experience at IC doesn't seem to relate to like my future career plans at all, which I don't really agree with. I think studying biology and one day hoping to go into medicine and becoming a physician, I think IC has taught me a lot about empathy and the importance of connecting with people, being open-minded in ways that my coursework and the classes that I take don't really, it's not something that you can teach in that way. You know, in medicine, I will have to meet a lot of a diverse group of patients and interact with them. And I think that the soft skills that I've gained at IC can really help me get really far in that career. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe. I feel like I don't really know how to answer this. <laughs> yes, clean energy. Okay.